What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to go over my top, emphasis on my top, my top five speed T16 builds that are gonna be coming uh, in season 28 with the current changes that we do know of. Now again, all these changes, stuff could, you know, Blizzard could change a few more things, could buff some more builds, could, they could, you know, nerf a couple more builds like the God DH that we're gonna talk about, but hopefully they will be, um, you know, not a whole lot will change, so that way this list kind of stays the same. But we're gonna get right into it. So my very first build is going to be the God DH build uh, for the Demon Hunter. I really hope that this build gets buffed. It's it's an amazing speed build, and it really needs to be back to where it used to be for T16. You know, I know there's been a lot of emphasis on the spin to win, and people just don't like that, and that's fine. But I really think that the God DH if they nerf the Natalia's and or just change the mechanics of how you, Natalia's is going to work next season, then this build is going to be right back at the forefront for T16 farming, which is just going to be amazing. So I think the God DH has always been one of the best T16 farming builds. And I think that's like its sole purpose, right? Like this, this build should be nothing but T16 farming and then low GR pushing. And as you can see, like, the build is just really, really fun, man. It's aesthetically pleasing. You know, you're just spinning the win and just destroying absolutely everything. Everything on the map. It's super fun to play. And I don't know why Blizzard would not buff this for next season. And I really think that they should. Like, it needs to get a little bit of a, of a nudge. But as you can see, it's very easy. It's like a next Netflix and chill build. It's always been one of my favorites since I've been playing Diablo 3 since it came out especially for the demon hunter now if they don't change anything about natalia's and you can just spin to win with natalia's then that's really going to suck for this build but i do think that god dh is going to be the number one farming build for demon hunters this season and it's your uh hog what is it hadrid's gift for this season so god dh is going to be one of the best farming builds i'm just going to go over this really quickly so you guys can just kind of see it uh, a lot of stuff can change with this feel free to improve on it change things but you have your build here i'm just going to highlight everything real quick if you need to pause it feel free but uh the build is very very strong and it's just a lot of fun now all this stuff can change obviously you got dawn and then you got your skills here so a lot of this can change we'll go over in more in-depth guides when the season actually releases but that's going to do it for the demon hunter guys next up guys is the crusader build that we have i absolutely love this we're going to talk about this more in some other videos but we have the crusader build and this build is just going to be so amazing if you're crusader main for next season for t16 farming the build is super super fast and it plays on the preface of using your your uh, oh we gotta we gotta change the skill real quick using that horse to just get around and just destroy things we need to get out of combat real quick so i can just change the steed the steed uh because we don't want it to be the one that lasts forever we want hey get out of here we want this to be a nightmare so the whole preface with this is it's been such a solid build from season 27 and being able to auto cast things has made it really really great as you can see the mobility on this on the build is just really really strong with riding the horse everywhere okay now there is talks about community suggestions of bringing in the auto cast for fist of the heavens uh for this build to make it a lot more viable which would be really really great in season 28 guys but i still really enjoy the build just as a speed farming build if you are crusader main it's very very fast very strong it can clear gr 90s no problem at a very fast rate and the build is just very fun to play now if you do have any issues on the screen and like are prone to seizures or anything i don't recommend this build but um the build is very very fast it's been my favorite throughout season 27. the only thing now is that being at, having to manually cast everything is kind of a pain but it's not when you're dealing so much damage okay so the build is going to be able to crush through T16s very, very fast. It's a great farming build. And again, this is going to be your Hadred's Gift for Season 28 for the Crusaders. So it's a great one to pick from. It's probably the best one for the Satyrs. And it's going to be the strongest build for this class next season. Especially if they don't make any changes to any other um, set builds for the Crusader. Because all the rest of them, in my opinion, are not that great. So again, this build is just 
flat out amazing. It's super fast. Manually casting the Fist of the Heavens just destroys packs of monsters. You could even do GR 90s with this and be able to just kind of elite hunt in a way, you know, because you don't want to waste anything too much on, uh, you know, kind of the ads. You want to do it on packs so that way your Fist of the Heavens hits because the AOE on it is just so good. But you can see just running through things, especially with our our horse here, our nightmare version of our horse, being able to kill things as we just slide through them and deal all that damage. It makes it very satisfying to play this build. I think it's just such, I think it's one of the best farming builds that you could have, especially in T16 now. With all this spin to win stuff gone, I think it's one of the best that you could do um, in the game. And again, it is your Hadrid's gift, so it's just a very unique and fun class to play and again guys i really hope that they change the the power like we used to have from season 27 so every two seconds it calls down one if they put this on here this would be like permanently indented into t16 farming and gr90 farming for the crusader the build the class really doesn't have one so it'd be great for this class to have something like that um, you definitely want to combine it with the captain crimson set because you're going to be basically manually casting all that stuff all the time so it makes things very sticky if you run out of fury or wrath excuse me so uh the build but crusader definitely one of the top 16 uh, t16 builds in the game next up of course we have one of the best farming t16 builds in the game and that is the barbarians whirlwind this has been an actual banger of a class for the longest time the only struggle that it's really ever had was just with elite guardians and just elites you know like always having those single targets has always made it really tough for this class to dominate things but i think if they were to add the the pull ability from season 27 onto this as a per permanent like in-game mechanic for the barbarian it would just make it really really good it would make it a lot of fun for this class to have something like that to be able to pixel because this class is good for speeds it's good for pushing it's good for support z barb is definitely the best support in the game for sure an argument could be made for dh to a degree but i think that z barb is definitely the best and being able to spin like this and just netflix and chill and just have a really great time it's just so good for the barbarian class and being able to pixel these enemies would be fantastic now again guys these skills that i have on here pro i probably should change a few for t16 but with the nature of this build and being able just to to dominate like this is just really really fun so there's not many changes that you really have to make there could be a couple things you could do to make it a little bit faster like i should run the uh the arm guards or the warshinian warshinian the uh the arm guards for this build which is, would be really really strong but you can see how fast it can be just zooming around it's like no effort at all which would be great this build is just so fun man and i'm not a big barbarian player at all but when it comes to farming like to get hoda to get other items and stuff that you need for builds this is definitely the one that you want for for barbs especially for all our barb mains out there oh my gosh so many monsters but the build is see it's just very relaxing you're just kind of chilling and going along it's definitely one of the best speed builds we could definitely do a lot of things to increase the speed on this but i enjoy that so the build again guys is just fantastic man now that the one drawback to season 28 is that this build is not um uh, don't mind the power but this build is not uh the season starter for the barbarian you're gonna get the frenzy set which the frenzy set is okay it's definitely gotten a lot stronger but it's um a lot of things need to change with that one i think just the damage increase is not enough but with this build to speed it up we could definitely put take the guardian set off put the arm guards in and then we could definitely run like put limitation here put the braces in there or something and just run um the blood kremlin's bluff which would be good that'd be nice um but yeah the whirlwind barb set is really good for t16 so all your barbarian mains definitely use this improve upon it and just crush coming in at number four guys is our wizard build it's going to be the talrasha meteor 
build for the wizard now this build there, there's a several versions of it but it's going to be probably the best pushing build in the game but this build is by far going to be the best speed farming build for the wizard in uh season 28 and i believe it's i think tal Rasha's is going to be your no you get hydras as your hadrix gift which is still very good for speed content you know you run around you drop a drop a hydra and just destroy everything on the board but the meteor build is definitely the best one that you could do for farming up everything you need for the wizard as you can see like aesthetically pleasing it's just it's amazing you just run around and you just drop meteors that's all you do you don't do anything else you just run around drop meteors far make sure you lose you're using the the lightning meteor to just kind of hit everything because that way you don't have that delay in the cast and then you're good to go this build came out in season 27 and there's been a few variations of it and this was everything that you want out of a wizard and a wizard build it has definitely been like a very pleasing build to play it's very very fast with the instant teleports you can just run around you could definitely key bind and just have your meters being auto casted down if you want i'm manually tapping mine but you can see the build just you just fly through stuff you just destroy things and if you even want to like hold down meteors and just crush something another great thing about this build is just the aoe aspect and how much damage you're dealing to everything on the screen from any point you have you don't have to be any distance anywhere you're just kind of moving along and destroying things and as far as rift guardians or t16 big elite packs anything like that you just absolutely crush them no problem now unfortunately this is not as good as the magic missile speeds that i think is the is the best for wizards in season 27 but that's because of the power so i really hope that they they add that in there oh man we didn't get a present that sucks so I really hope that that is made into a full mechanic so that way Magic Missile has some purpose because that build was absolutely amazing. But as far as Wizards go, this is going to be your bread and butter build, not only for speeds, but for uh, GR pushing as well. I think it's going to be one of the top builds in Season 28, which is just going to be awesome, man. I'm a big Wizard player and I really enjoy playing this build a lot. So. It's been really, really fun to play this. So, never mind the power on here, but just look at this build, guys. You're going to run it with Ogduls and Captain Crimsons. You're running three different sets here. And you just absolutely crush everything. Aetherwalker is essential for this build. Uh, and then you have the Grand Visor. You have all this really cool stuff. And when it comes to mechanics, too, guys, like this build is very easy to play. You just pop these three, let them sit there. You cast this black hole whenever you want. And you just teleport around and cast Meteor. It's that simple. This build is gonna definitely one of the top T16 builds uh, for season 28. And coming in in fifth, guys, and, and last, these are in no particular order, but coming in fifth is gonna be the uh, Monk Inna's build. Inna's has been so strong for T16 farming and GR farming for seasons now. And, it, and it's been great. Even with the nerf that they got, guys, like this build is still super, super strong and I messed up on the start, so I'm making it look like it's a bad build. That's my bad, guys. Don't listen to me. I'm just kidding. This build is still one of the strongest that you can do, even with the nerf. Now, I did have, I did have the POJ. I really wanted POJ to, to be the, like the best T16 farming that you could do for Monk, because it is your season, uh, you know, your Hadrix gift um, for season 28. But unfortunately, the mobility is just not as fast. Being able to dash around everything here makes and is still the best one even even with the the damage multiplier decrease nerf that it got as you guys can see you just teleporting around the map is just so fast and you clear things so quick so if you're a monk main this is definitely still going to be your best it's going to allow you to build poj you're going to be able to do wave of light still wave of light is still going to be really really strong you're just going to be able to crush everything now as far as grs it really isn't going to be the best at GRs. You're going to be wanting to use Wave of Light or POJ, I think. But um, as far as T16 farming, Innes is still one of the top. I still really enjoy this. Even though we had, what, multiple seasons of this, guys? With Innes, back-to-back Innes all the time. It was just nothing but Innes. 
which is fine. The build, the build is insane. I'm not, I'm not, I can't hate on it too much. The build is just really, really strong. But being able to just get around the map like this, no problem, so fast. Group up multiple monsters like it's nothing and just crush. It's kind of hard to compete with anything. Now, POJ is really, really fast. I got to give it to POJ. It is really fast, but it's not as fast as this. Being able to basically unlimited dash when you hit elites and just get around makes this build just a no-brainer. No-brainer build. And you just crush. You let your you let your your mystic allies do everything in the build and it's super fun, man. I've thoroughly enjoyed this build, guys. Again, definitely definitely improve on these builds, change them however you want. But this is the T16 two hand that we got here so you guys can kind of see what we're doing. It's absolutely insane, guys. The uh, the build is just super fast. Even though it lacks the damage now, only at 900%, you still crush T16s, no problem, even at a lower Paragon, which makes the build just super fun to play. So if you're, a, if you're a monk main, this is definitely the one to do. So guys, appreciate you watching the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Like this video if it has helped you out. Again, these are my top five for next season, pending any change, you know, before any other changes that happen when the season comes out, because it's right around the corner. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below what your favorite speed build or class that you're playing is going to be in season 28. And as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.